If you had to name a band using only an adjective and a body part, what would you go for? Cavernous butt. <laughs> Are we allowed to say butt? Is it one of those? No, that you're we not. Said, no, you're the, not. You're allowed to say butt. You're also later on allowed to say whole. How big of a part? But if uh, if you if you were to join those together, one would be beeped. Okay. But I don't know which one. What do they beep, Nick? The butt or the? <laughs> Amazingly, I'm pretty sure you can say butt. You cannot say ass. Oh. No, I think uh, I think it's the same. I think you're wrong, Nick. I think it's the same as ass. They bleep whole. Look, I would love nothing more. Than to, than to talk like this with <laughs> witty banter <laughs> and repartee. Nothing would make me happier. Just all pour a couple of drinks and just really catch up, but we can't. You know why we can't? Because America, America, the United States of America, are waiting for this. It's the news. The news. Today, President Biden announced a new plan to combat high gas prices. Biden has ordered the release of a record one million barrels of oil from the National Strategic Reserve Ow! per day for the next six months. You, that's a lot of oil. There's no, that, that, that's a lot of oil. You just know Biden came out to make the announcement saying to himself, don't say buttload. Just don't say buttload. <laughs> we have to say buttload? You say you're allowed load? to say buttload, and you're allowed to say assload. And you can say wow. assload. Yeah. Wow. But you can't say <laughs> load. <laughs> this is the third time Biden has tapped the reserves, but he insists they're not dating or anything. It's just strictly casual. <laughs> Biden's tapping the strategic reserves. I love that phrase. Tapping the strategic reserves. <laughs> Sounds like something my father-in-law says when he pours a second scotch of the night. <laughs> I'm just tapping the strategic reserves. <laughs> and the House panel investigating the January 6th riots say they are considering issuing a subpoena of Donald Trump's personal phone records to help fill in a gap in the White House phone logs from that day. I'm sure if they ask nicely, he'll just hand them over. He seems pretty reasonable about this kind of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, that's right, you heard them. They're bringing out the big guns. They're weighing a consideration to potentially issue an ignorable subpoena. <laughs> God, why do we even know about this story? Like, stop telling us when you're considering something. Just tell us when it's done. They're like that friend who always talks about how they, they're thinking of getting bangs. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it anymore. Just show up one day with bangs. <laughs> we'll all be really happy for you. Should I get bangs? <laughs> you know I should get bangs? You know, my first instinct was no, but now I'm looking at yeah. your face. Yeah. Maybe. I know what you mean. Maybe you should. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Should I what? get bangs? I think you should get bangs. I'm gonna get bangs. Have you ever had bangs before? Yeah, no, bangs. You're gonna go through your whole life not having bangs? I don't wanna be that guy. You're not gonna know what you look like with bangs? Get a set of bangs. Live your life. Exactly. We could die tomorrow. Have bangs. E exactly. Yeah. YOLO. YOLO. Hashtag YOLO bangs. Let's see those bangs. Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow. Wow. Sorry, that's... That's, that's not what I meant. That's... <laughs> And Republican wait, Congress... Wait, 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 before... We also, just before you move on, we also had to made, uh, make this, just in case. Oh, no! Ay, 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 caliente. That's not what, that's not what I meant at all. Le oh! There we go. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Bring back Ian. That is absolutely... <laughs> That's, That's exceptional. Good. You look like you should be a judge on that show, Is It Cake? <laughs> Here's a story. Republican Congressman Madison Cawthorn is now taking back the comments he made about fellow lawmakers inviting him to orgies and doing cocaine in his presence. In a meeting with House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, Cawthorn admitted his comments were exaggerated. Ah, he talked a big game, didn't he? 
talked a big game about cocaine and orgies. In reality, it was just claritin and over the pants handy. <laughs> Sounds like me in high school trying to convince my mum and dad that everyone else at the party was drinking except me. No, I just had a Sprite because I don't like the taste of liquor. <laughs> First, he said on a podcast that they did cocaine in front of him. Now he says he thinks he may have seen a staffer in a parking lot from 100 yards away. How deluded must you be to be in a parking lot, see someone lean over to pick up their keys and thinking, uh oh. It's another cocaine orgy. <laughs> Here's some other news. Blue Origin's fourth space tourism flight took place today, and unlike the previous trips, there were no famous people on board, just five wealthy space tourists and the ship's designer. Here's the rocket taking off. Have a look. I mean, usually, if you want to see six rich people on a penis-shaped object, <laughs> you have to be invited to a Republican orgy. <laughs> Would you rather attend a Republican orgy or a Democratic Party orgy? A, rep a Republican orgy. 100%. Yeah, probably. Animals. They're so uptight. Animals. They're so uptight. That Animals. When, when they cut loose, it's probably... I hate to say it, it's probably a great time. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Anyone here rather go to a Democratic Party orgy than a Republican Party? Really? You would like to go to a... You'd rather go to a, a, a Democrat I'd orgy. rather not be a, a black person at a Republican orgy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hear you, Molly. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> that was the first Blue Origin flight without a famous crew member. But as the ancient Los Angeles proverb goes, if there were no celebrities involved, did it even really happen? <laughs> the flight may not have included any famous people, but it did include five future absolutely unbearable dinner guests. <laughs> oh, you went to Hawaii and we went to space. <laughs> And finally, a company has just released the world's first toasted baseball bat-finished whiskey. It's true, the whiskey is aged for six years and then is finished for six weeks in barrels containing Hall of Famer David Ortiz's signature bats. I know. I don't care either. <laughs> the whiskey is aged for six years. Which, coincidentally, is also how I feel after watching a game of baseball. <laughs> About time they did this, though. I can't tell you how many times I've sipped an old-fashioned and thought, hmm, this could use a little more pine tar. <laughs> an alcohol made using an athlete's memorabilia. It's a little odd, but I will say it's a much better idea than this one, O.J. Simpson's glove-flavoured tequila. <laughs> and that's the news. <laughs> we'll be right back. The north and the south, it's the south side, it's the east side, it's the north.